Welcome to Linux in the Shell, episode 19, Worms and Kill. What you're seeing on the screen right now is the Worms application. But before I jump into why it looks like a grainy film stock, I just wanted to say, if you haven't read the write-up or listened to the audio portion of this show, please do so at www.linuxintheshell.org at your earliest convenience to get the full skinny on both of these commands. I'm only going to show some examples. The example you're seeing right now is Worms at its default and because it's an older program on newer systems, probably anything in the past five or eight years, it processes way too fast so you need to throw a delay in there. So Worms is part of the BSD games package uh, and it's easy to install through your package manager. I'm, I have it on Arch, I've seen it on Slackware and, and Debian and everything else. So um, you can throw a delay in here and to get it to work right the delay should be anywhere between I think 50 and 200 and that's in milliseconds so I'm going to go middle of the ground 100 and now you can see that Worms produces nice little squigglers that go around the screen. Uh, and and uh, there's three by default, and you can change that with the N command and do N5. I have now five squigglers going along. And if you pause the video and count the segments, you'll see that they have 16 segments per worm. You can change that with the dash L option, and we'll give them half. So now they're smaller, running around. Uh, you can even go smaller than that and say, ah, look, now we got maggots running around the screen. Uh, what else can you do? You can give them a trail with the dash T and now they will uh, have a little trail behind them of periods and eventually they'll fill up the screen and finally you can do dash F which will give them a field to eat which is the word worm across the screen repeatedly and as they dig through the worm they'll leave a little trail if you have the dash T as they eat the letters. So that's worms. It's a nice little distraction. It's fun and uh, we're going to uh, use that a little bit to talk about the kill command. Now I have a couple of X terms over here that I have set to go at the top level and uh, I'm going to start worms in here and just leave it at the uh, default 5 or three and let them squiggle around as I talk about the uh, kill command. Now kill command takes at least one parameter that's the process ID so passing kill process ID um, you need to find the process ID of the command that you want to use. There's a couple ways you could do it. Top will show it but it's kind of overkill but if you do PS-E for everyone and grep and the process you want to kill you see that we got two instances of worms running here. Again, I'm not sure why we have two instances of worms. That happened the last time I did this. Now, this is the third time I've been doing this recording. None, nevertheless. So if I want to kill worms, I just do kill and the process ID, 6491892, and that says the sig term. The sig term is the signal termination. It hangs up the process. There's a uh, 62 processes signals that you can pass to a process. We're only going to, you know, I talked about a few of them. I'm really only going to show you uh, this one and, and a few others. So kill by default, uh, there's a S to send a different signal. Um, by default, what we just sent was sig term. So that's sig term right there would be the same thing that we just did with the process ID. Also, 15 is the number of the signal term. That's the uh, number equivalent. You can also specify just 15 here, a dash 15, or the name of the term, the signal, which is term here, as opposed to uh, uh, doing the dash S and sig term. You would leave the suff uh, prefix of, of sig off of there. So if I do worms again, whoop, uh, like that, and I do... Uh, PS E grep worms and I do kill uh, I'm gonna do a different signal now nine one eight nine four eight you see that it kills it now I, I want to show you a different uh, signal but before I show the, the different signal I wanna give you a heads up on how you can find all the signals you just do the kill dash L and it'll list out all the 64 signals that are available that you can send. Now, you probably don't want to send all of these. Look at the write-up of the ones you primarily want to use. Um, you can do kill-l sig term, 
and it shows you the corresponding terminal num uh, signal number or you can do kill dash L and the signal number and it shows you the the name of the uh, signal which is kill in this case so uh, you can pass any one of those so one other th one that I want to show is let's go back got the worms going again um, let's do kill uh, PS e grep worms and let's do kill dash 819 which is uh, up here it's sig stop kill dash 918952 now you see over here now it says the process is stopped I can go and do kill dash 18 which is up here and it's sig dash continue and it'll continue to process so sometimes you don't just kill a process you could restart a process too it's almost like the equivalent of pressing control Z and then resuming the backgrounded process uh, when it when it um, well, resuming the stop process. So that that's basically a lot of kill in a nutshell. Now, a few other options to the kill command. Uh, you can do kill dash p and worms and put the name of the process you want to kill in there, and it will return the process IDs of that value. But you get an error message and that's because in order for this to work you need to pass the full path of kill so now if I hit enter with the full path to kill it tells me that it's process ID 1952 so if I wanted to find the full path to kill I could just do which kill and it says bin kill so now again let's do that bin kill p worms so now I can do kill dash 918952 and it killed worms right there dead so you see that they are dead uh, let's do uh, dash D again we got it up another option instead of passing the PID kill has a, I could do this kill worms and it's passing a would be, be kill all processes named worms so if I hit enter uh, you see again it says invalid signal specifications because I need to pass the full path now watch worms over there they're killed so there you go that's kill in a nutshell. Pretty much covered everything there. Uh, I could kill all the X terms I have there. If I did bin kill a X term and they're both gone. So that is kill in a nutshell. Um, head on over to the website to see the full write up of, of kill and worms and for the uh, bibliography. And also, I encourage you to. Uh, Patronize Hacker Public Radio. They graciously support the website and the files, and I thank them very much. It's a great, great project. Hacker Public Radio, everybody. And thank you. You've been listening to Linux in the Shell. And my name is Dan Washko, and you have a great one. <laughs>